Good morning everyone, Rach here from Rara's Realm. Welcome to my uh, cross-stitching progress channel. Um, I am a Kiwi floss tuber and I am coming to you from a sunny but cold South Island of New Zealand. Um, so anyway, hello to everybody returning and good day to those who are watching for the first time. I'm sharing my year of madness, which you will see as you progress through this video, because it's time to choose the whips this week. Uh, I only have a couple of things to share from last week. I did not make the mini quilt. I got the fabric out, I opened the book to the page, and I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided that I'm not going to argue, and I will do a little bit more on Orchard Valley Quilting Bee instead. So I did. Um... I'm kind of, you know how you ebb and flow with things, I'm kind of down here with the whole sewing thing at the moment. So I might actually, when I get either the project bag or the mini quilt ball, uh, is actually just take them out for a little while um, and not worry about them. So that's the beauty of my game, my rules. <laughs> um, okay, let's crack on. It doesn't need to be a long video today because there isn't a lot. So... Um, Last Monday I was meant to do Orchard Valley Quilting Bee and I was meant to do it at the weekend as well. So I'll talk about that second. Um, the second project to stitch on last week was my Prairie Schooler. Um, looking at it back to front, it's that one I think I was doing. Um, so this is the Red Work Santa's booklet number 102. Um, and I've done three of these now. So when I showed this to you, where is he? He's there. So I had started on this, I got his tree, a bit of his head, some of the border and some of this coat. And then I got the rest of him. So he is finished. Uh, so I'm very pleased with that, all the back stitching. I don't know if this, there's nothing out. So that's the other one I've done on this bit of fabric. And there should be room for one more. But I do have a rip here. So I've got to just check the old measurements. So that is my finish from last week. The candy cane Santa. So I will put that away. Now when I get Prairie Schooler again. What have I done with it? I've actually changed, um, I should probably talk about it if I get the ball, but I've started now, so I'll finish. Um, I I was going to kit up the Prairie Schooler chart called Sunshine and Shadows, I think. Um, I've actually changed my mind, and I'm going to do, it's book number 63, Christmas Samplers, and I'm going to do the middle one, which has got the verse from Night Before Christmas. Um... So that's what I'm going to kit up. I've got some fabric already and it's just a case of hunting out the DMC or going to buy it. So if I pull that this round, I've just got to get off and buy the DMC. Okay, that was a sidetrack. As I used to on this channel. Okay, this is Orchard Valley Quilting Bee for those that do not know. And I am in here and I've still got that one to do. Otherwise, everything is done. Um... I think when I showed this to you last time, I had the trees, at least the outlines in the trunk done, maybe filled in, I can't remember, um, and the outline of the quilt blocks at the bottom were st stitched. So, between the days and the mornings last week, I got, let's hold it in such a way that just checking you can't peek. I got that block completely finished minus the French knots for the cow's eyes. Uh, so that is now done. And then oh well, uh, we are on to the final block. So I've got a house. Let's see if I can fold this in such a way that you can see it. So it is the mirror, pretty much the mirror of this block. So there's a, a red house and fill in the quilt 
and we're done. And that's then the whole thing, not ironed properly, yeah. done. It's because I roll it up to stitch. I stitch in hand. So that is looking good. I am kind of thinking by this time in two weeks, it's done. I don't want to commit to it being done by next week because we'll just see. So I shall put that over there. So our next task is to choose the projects in hand. Or the projects that I have to stitch for next week. Let me just shift my little card over. Um, I'm going to actually put in my working pen. So I'm going to put in today and tomorrow as Orchard Valley Quilting Bee already. I'm going to make that call and then hopefully we might get it as another wall um, as well. If this is your first time visiting and you're wondering what on earth I'm doing with a funny sounding pillowcase, um, I am doing the low tech version of the Mini Decisions app. So I have got a whole load of numbered and lettered ping pong balls and I choose, today I will choose six because I've already made an executive decision, decision. Um, and each project gets two days. So the next ball out of the thing is number seven and that is Pond Lily. Okay, then the next ball out is, oh, my Haid, Silent Night Lane. And because that's a big old piece, it can be pulled up to three times per go. So I'll stick that back in. We'll have a good old turn around. And we have got, oh, yay, Lucy Calcutt, my sampler. And again, because Lucy is a big project, she gets another chance as well. Three down, three to go. Nearly lost the ball out. Aha! Focus piece, which is Orchard Valley Quilting Bee. So surely now there's a really good chance that this will be finished within the next two weeks. Uh, okay. Mini quilt I am ignoring and I'm going to leave out. I'm going to put it over there even. Let's have another go for something. Hawk Run Hollow. I'm doing the village of. Okay. And I can actually redraw that one because that's a huge piece as well. I'm only on block two. Right, the last ball for this fortnight. <laughs> Viewer's Choice New Start. How good that that came as the last one this time. Right then, we had better find some kitted up projects to choose from. Okay. Alright, so let's choose that one and what else is to pick up? Um, I could go for that one. I might choose that one. Nothing else at the moment is catted that can be all the size. No. Okay, so the choice for the viewer's choice um, is going to be from the Country Sampler Girls Club from last year. This is uh, Plum Street Samplers, A Country Winter. So that's choice one, A Country Winter, or Plum Street, whichever way you want to put it. Um, and the reason I'm choosing this is this is actually kitted for 36 count and I want to see how I go on 36 count. Um, my favourite sampler from them is also this one, um, which is not in the choice, I'm just explaining. It's on 36 count and I want to see that I can manage it before I start that one or I might need to order more fabric. 
So choice one is a, wind, a Country Winter by Plum Street Samplers. And choice two is Sarah Comfort 1810 by Queenstown Sampler Designs, reading it backward. And this is kitted, and this is kitted for Garden Gate. I'm departing from my usual presidential blue, but it's kitted. I've paid for the fabric and the thread and the kit when I brought it, so I'm going to stick with it as is, and it looked beautiful done. So choice two is Sarah Comfort. Choice one is A Country Winter. Okay, so that's what that looks like. The, the threads look absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I can show them to you. That's choice one. Choice two, Sarah Comfort. Which is just a single colour. And Garden Gate is the colour that was put in the kit. Okay, so you've got until uh, prior to recording next week for to, to place your choice and I will do a round up and let you know um, which one. I'm just writing them down. <laughs> Sarah Comfort. Which one you prefer. I'm quite happy to start either. There is no favourites like sometimes I allude to. <laughs> Um, okay, so that is good. So Orchard Valley gets four days plus the morning. So I'm hoping it's Tuesday, Wednesday next week. I was going to say maybe next week, but maybe not. I'm not going to bust a gut. We'll just see how we go. Pond Lily, you've seen recently. My Haid uh, is um, Mahusiv, and I've hardly started. And that was my stomach. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, Lucy Calcutt. I can't get my hands on her. I'm doing the first one, 1825, I think it is. Um, and Hawk Run Hollow. I'm doing the villages of Hawk Run Hollow. And then you get to decide a country winter or Sarah Comfort. And we'll know next week what you've chosen. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. I still don't have any stash on order. Um... I got an email at the weekend from Tiny Modernist announcing their Christmas stitch along and it's called A Christmas Village. So I think I will be ordering that. I won't be doing it, but I will at least be getting the patterns, I think. Um, Christmas and villages are always a good combination for me, so we will see how we go. Okay, I think that is everything. Uh, I will catch you again next week with Maybe a fittage? Maybe. I'm not going to bust the gut and make a mistake and have to unpack, so we'll see how we go. Um, have a good week, everybody. Stitch everything you want to stitch, and I will catch you next week. Bye for now.